Hey guys. Um, so, uh, your mom and I just got married, and uh, I wrote a letter for y'all. So, this is to you. <laughs> to our children. The funny thing about this is that you're watching me right now, here on my wedding day. I wanted to tell you how much your mother means to me. I wanted you to be a part of this day with us. Right now, you are merely a thought in our minds and hearts. We talked about y'all on our first date. From the beginning of our relationship, you were always a part of the plan. Today, I get the privilege of marrying your mom and becoming one flesh. She is incredibly gifted in so many ways. She lights up any room she walks in. She is loved by everyone that knows her. She serves Jesus well. She prays without ceasing. She loves without anything in return. That is but the tip of the iceberg when it comes to describing the incredible woman that I have the privilege to marry and the woman you get to call mom. I can't express it enough on how much I love her. Chris and Sierra, I feel like the first thing that I should say to you guys when making to this moment is congratulations. Your families love you, your friends love you, and your church loves you. That's why we're all here today. But today is obviously not the finish line, it's the beginning of the real race. The race where you run after one another as you first and foremost run after Jesus. I hope you all are enjoying this lovely evening, celebrating these two legendary individuals. I'm Savannah. I'm Sierra's sister, and I have the privilege of being the maid of honor. So I have known Sierra my whole life. I came out the womb, she was there. Big eyes and a bowl cut. <laughs> From a young age, Sierra walked with such ambition. She developed such a strong and passionate personality. As my older sister, she led me in confidence, encouragement, and patience, but also she maintained such a posture of humility and integrity. Sierra is someone I have admired my whole life. As a friend and as a sister, I'm immensely grateful that I now also admire Chris alongside of her. I first met Chris one random morning 15 years ago. He was sleeping on my couch, just enjoying some bagels and rocking his country overalls. I asked my mom, who the heck is this kid and why is he eating all my food? As someone who grew up with four sisters, I always dreamed of having a brother. But when Chris came into the picture, I got the brother I always wanted. Now he was skinny and different, but I was grateful for anything at this point. Chris is someone I'm so lucky to call my brother, and he's someone I can always count on to be there for me. Oh my God. Man, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. This dress is perfect. <laughs> it's literally perfect. <laughs> Dude, it's so, per it's so perfect, babe. <laughs> Dude, it's so beautiful. Christopher, <laughs> when I look at you, I see an answered prayer. I see pr proof of the Lord's beautifully perfect timing. I see a story of redemption. There is something about you, many somethings actually. There hasn't been a single person who hasn't at some point told me, Sierra, you found a good one. But the truth is, I didn't find you. Neither of us found each other. We say that all the time. But the Lord knew we needed each other. Sierra Renee, besides proclaiming my faith in God, nothing I could imagine in my life will feel more important than these words I'm about to say. Sweetheart, I am so deeply in love with you. 
every part of you now and every part that will be. Every day leading up to today has shown me that it's not as impossible as I once thought to love your wife like Jesus loves his church. I promise to be gentle and confident, to be patient and strong, to sacrifice everything for you. I promise to be your best friend. I promise to be your ministry partner. And I promise to be parents someday to children who will never question our love. And ultimately, I promise to display Christ's love through our marriage. Chris has shown up in my life and in my family's life every day. He has been intentional in getting to know my parents, my siblings, and me. But most importantly, Chris deeply loves the Lord. And therefore, he loves my sister with such a godly pursuit. To watch their relationship flourish for the past year and a half as they grow in their love for each other, their friendship, and their walks with Christ has given me a beautiful example of what an honoring relationship looks like. As soon as Sierra came into his life, I knew Chris had found the one. Sierra, thank you for loving my brother like you do and making him happier than he's ever been before. You both deserve all the best, and I hope your future is as great as you always pictured it. Because with the loyalty and commitment you two have for each other, I have all the confidence in the world that your marriage will be a beautiful one. Here's to true love, promising future, and a long life ahead. Congratulations, you two. You are a million prayers answered after a long time praying. You are a blessing that I didn't think I deserved. You are what made me know that God truly hears my heart. I don't think I've ever had this kind of peace about anything and that's truly a gift, knowing me. You are the best thing to ever walk into my life and I'm so ready to become your wife. I love you a whole lot, Christopher, and I always will. Let's get married. <laughs> Dude, that got me. <laughs> As a minister of the gospel of Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man pull apart. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Liberty.